Hello everyone and welcome to Review Time. I'm your host Irishlip and today we're going to be doing a review on these minicons while my nephew bangs at the door. Um, now I gotta be honest with you, I have no clue what your names are right now. Um, I used to, uh, but I kind of grabbed them on a whim and I did not look up their names. I have no clue at the moment. I do know that these are three of the four figures that were recolored into the Minicon Battle Bots. And this is the fifth one. So, yeah. Now, I got these off of, I got these from eBay seller, the Pharaoh One. Yes, I did. And uh, this was actually part of my, was this part of my first purchase? I think it's part of my second purchase. So, um, let's start out with the T-Rex dude. And he's a red T-Rex. And he's got Minicon ports on his hips so you can plug him into stuff. Or, and this is something I found out very interesting, if you have... The weapons from, oops, that's very hot, ouch, Energon uh, Downshift, what you can do if you decide to, is you can take the weapons and you can plug them into his hips and weaponize them. So, yeah. So now you've got a T-Rex with weapons, and he's a little front heavy. So I'll just hold his tail, but you can do that. Um, he also can open his mouth and fire off, um, I guess, whatever gun that is. So yeah, so he's pretty cool. He's red. Uh, so let's see about transforming him. So you just flip the tail up, take this part and split, open his mouth, and then you just pull that apart and split it and then rotate it like this and uh, turn his arm like that this arm like this and that's it that's this guy in robot mode uh, he has no hands he has a dinosaur head the top of it over for that side for his hand and uh, the bottom with a gun on this side and that's pretty much it so he's okay he's pretty cool then we're gonna move on to you know and of course I you know if I got the dino repaint he'd probably be Grimlock or whatever and this one would be Slag or Snarl I forget which one it was but um again mini con ports on the tail that do allow for weaponization so let's uh weaponize him Take that like that. Whoops, sorry. Didn't realize I was out of the camera. That one uh, does not want to go in. Let's see. Uh, oh, for some reason it doesn't only wants to go on one side. So, uh, yeah, we've got that. And he can be like a little armored tank thing and if you really wanted to you could get whoops Mirage's weapon and plug that into there I'm pretty sure you can do that maybe you can do it on this side oh no you can't because this, this one only has never mind so anyway go away little bug so yeah there he is He's pretty. He's a pretty nice little uh, triceratops, and uh, yeah. So, and I love I love my camera because it lets me see details on these things that maybe my eyes would normally not have seen. So, to transform him, we'll pop that off first, and hopefully, I'll remember how to do this because I didn't get instructions with these. Uh, they were loose. That's how I got them, and uh, that's how I wrote. Yeah. So, uh, 
Let's see, what do I want to do? Okay. Um, what do I want to do? Huh, I forgot how to transform them. And that's my nephew again. Okay, so I figured it out. We're going to take this part here and split it down. Split it down. Sorry. Let's, let's, there. Okay, take this part here and split it down for the third time. This will let us get the legs and split them down this way. Split them. Pull it down like that. So that's that. Then you split this part. Yeah, split it like that. And uh, turn these, I guess, however, I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, I, I guess the fists are underneath, so rotate the feet all the way around and I think that's what you do I can't really tell and I keep getting myself in the shadows and uh, and try to get the head up dang it that does not want to go up okay that goes down so that goes up, right? Come on. Give me a second, guys. Ah, it's supposed to be a short video. Simple, short. All right, first you pull the head out. And then you push this part down. And there's a little Triceratops minigon in robot mode. So, although his feet point backwards, I guess those are just the heels to keep him from falling. Yeah. So, yeah, there he is. Got a nice little face. Let's uh, see if I can... So it's molded in detail pretty well. It just needs paint. And then there's the Pteranodon. Or the Pterodactyl again. Then there's this one. This one looks really cool. Like... Just flying towards the camera. Okay, so... Uh, let's turn, turn that down and... I'm going to go ahead and try to transform him and I'm really close to the hot thing. So we're just gonna unpeg his unpeg his arms from uh, that part. And then we're just going to lift that up and move it back. And there's the head reveal. Uh, these become the feet, so Flip those. Give me a second. I can do this. I can figure this out. That goes up like that. There we go. So the head goes back like this. There we go. The head goes back like this. Uh, these come up like this. I think they go like that. Or did it go out? I don't know if the toes are supposed to go out. I think they're supposed to go in, but we'll just go with out for now. And then you straighten out the legs, and he actually oh, wait. There we go. Uh, was I supposed to do that? All right. So I'm um, back to what I was saying. Sorry about that. The battery ran out. Uh, you take this part right here, and you flip it forward like that, pull the legs down, and the legs tab into the body piece. So, 
like that. And that goes in like that. And the legs kind of form also part of the body. So, and there he is in his robot mode, which is really, really, um, hmm. Not really all that good, although from, from this angle, it kind of reminds me of Ducky from The Land Before Time. So, he's got molded in fingers right there. And, oh, and right there too. Like, you can see the thumb and the fists. Very hard to see without this camera, though. But, yeah. So, there we go. And... That up, oh, there we go. There he is. Move this back and see if I can angle it better. So, there he is in his robot mode next to that guy and that guy. Whoops, he almost fell backwards. Let's pull this back a little bit. You can see them, they're pretty nice, they're pretty cool. I can see how. Um, these would have made a great repaint into uh, Dinobots. They've got, eh, they just got, they just got nice little, a lot of nice little detail. Now let's see. For size comparison, I mean they are um, what do you call them things? Mini cons, but some of you might still want to know. They are smaller than a Legends figure. That's Cybertron Legends Megatron. And let's get this guy and turn him into a deluxe figure. We don't have to fully transform him, just transform him enough. And there. There they are next to. I guess that would be almost a deluxe size figure. Let's see. So they're pretty neat. And I'm pretty sure as we're going along, I'll have put the names of them underneath each one of them. So as I'm doing them. So you'll know who they are because, I mean, yeah. I, I was going to go ahead and do that, find out for you, but... I only have a certain amount of time to do these reviews, so I've already lost daylight. See, let's see if I can show you the window. See, it's nighttime already. So, and I'm in a dark room. So, anyway, that's it. That's my review. Um, I slip, and if you can get these mini cons, especially if you're into mini cons, if you're not into mini cons, well, the you know the little dino modes are pretty cool. Um. But if you're into Minicons, or you're into Dinobots, or you're into Beast Formers, you should pick these up. Uh, this only cost, these only cost me, I think for all three they were like eight bucks. So, thanks again to the Pharaoh one. And uh, he's got a, a YouTube page. Again, I'm going to, to plug it. It's going to, I'm going to link it. And every review that I do with him, I'm going to try to link it. And y'all should go check out his Facebook page. Um... Yeah, and let's see, is there anything else? Oh yeah, listen to Good Morning Cybertron. Alrighty.